Morning guys, so um, I was just, I just got out of bed and um, I went to check the Svomesto site and they do have a new video about the KFUN 5. I will link that uh, in the description below and right now I just gotta go and get some things done and I'll be on my way to MTM to pick up the new KFUN. Um, as soon as I get back home, I will do a short unboxing slash review slash first wick first impressions video. So stay tuned. So before I head over to MTM store to pick up the new KFUN V5, I just gotta take my dog for a walk and I'll be on my way. There's another one. What up, Susie? Susie. So we're finally on the way to get the KFUN 5, um, it's 11.45 now, the store should open in 15 minutes and I think I should be there just in time to pick it up. Susie, are you okay? Oh yes you are, hey doggy. So from what I've read at uh, Slow Mesto's German site is that they're basically releasing this KFUN 5 uh, ahead of time. Uh, I guess because those new EU regulations and it's only going to be available at first here in the EU with a limited number of course of KFN 5s because they simply can't keep up with the production right now and they have to rush it up to the market. Let's just hope there's not an enormous line like at the Apple store <laughs> for a new iPhone launch. Um, yeah, but I guess I should be okay. Um, should be there just in time okay guys and we're almost there just another turn and we should be here I don't see any lines so that's good I guess at least for me it is Susie we have arrived MTM store can you see it there MTM store Oh, I got the cave in five. It's the cave. Hey, look, look, Susie, it's the cave. So I will hold back um, and open this as soon as I get home. Um, I've already tried it in the store now, and it's amazing. I don't understand. It's raining, but it's sunny. How is that happening? There's no, like, a little bit of clouds. This trip home is taking like forever. I, I thought, okay, I'm in the car like five minutes, but it seems like at least an hour. Just hope I'm gonna get home as soon as possible. Okay guys, I finally made it home. And um, it's here. Woo. Um, I think this calls for a nice glass of wine. Oh, hey Kefan. Let's dive down and do an unboxing. Okay guys, and let's do the unboxing for the new Kefan V5. I have a knife here, just open it up. So the package is uh, actually looks the same as the package for the Kfun Mini V3. Uh, it's just bigger, I think it's like double the size. 
on the front we do have uh, the Solmesto logo on the top there is an authenticity scratch check sticker uh, on the back some company infos K5 Solmesto Solmesto on both sides so let's just open it up come here little K5 just open it up yes oh we have two boxes inside two boxes I guess this is the K-Fun. Let's take it out. Oh, look at it. It's so beautiful. It comes with the stainless steel tank installed. And let's check the contents of the other box. There should be a glass. What's inside? We have some extra O-rings and screws. In here. The glass tank section and and a slow mesto user manual on how to operate the tank. You can keep that open here. So let's try and open this up and I will definitely replace the glass tank section. Oh the chimney comes out. Nice. Like so. And here is the base tight looking good looking good uh, and this is I guess top air fill cap let's break it down and this is the uh, airflow adjustment ring oh you can like okay I will try and, and zoom this in for you guys so the k has has um, the airflow from the outside, the KFN V5. So in order to change the airflow, all you do is basically press it up and then you can see those little holes here. Uh, they tell you how much airflow you have. So one, two, three, four, and then it gets back to one again. So right now it's on four. Can you see that? Yes. So I will, I will put it four. Five, I will put it on two. I like it tighter. Good. And then just snaps back into place. Okay. And I don't know if you can see it in the inside. I'll try and get it. You actually do have two small holes here. Right? Like so. Can you see that? It just basically like snaps back into place. I think it's it's pretty amazing. Uh is this going to work with the tank on? I I guess it will. Um so let's let's reassemble the top cap with the glass section here. It's basically it functions the same as, as the KFM V3 Mini. Let's check out the deck for a second. Okay, I will zoom that in. Let's check out the deck section. So we do have feeding holes from the bottom, those screws, and we do have kind of those little lags coming out of here on the side let me just show it to you here on the side I think this will help you uh, catch your leads should be pretty easy so let me just unscrew them like so like so and let's put a build on this I will screw on the base onto my vapor flask like so I will take some NIFE wire NIFE 48 wire I will try and put some other builds inside um, a little bit later but for now I'm just gonna go with something uh, that is tried out and I know how it, how it vapes so um, seven wraps of NIFE wire one two three four five, six, and seven. We have two leads going out in the opposite direction. Let's place this inside. So this is actually really nice uh, helping those leads to catch uh, the screws because those screws... Well, let me just raise it up a little bit. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just place the coil inside here. It actually kind of reminds me 
don't hit me for saying that now, but it does really remind me a little bit on the uh, Kanger Subtank RBA coil. They had those walls next to the coils too. And I was, when I first saw that, I think, I, th I think it was one of the my favorite parts on the um, Kanger Subtank RBA. That's when you want to do it fast. Let me just place it inside here because it really helped actually catching those leads and there was no need in, um, need to um, get those wicks somewhere else, uh, th those leads somewhere else. You just placed it here and screw it in. Yeah, like so. You did the same thing on the other side. Holy! Guys, this is so easy to rebuild, I dare to say it's idiot proof, basically. Look at it, it's already done. And now you just twist and tuck those leads off. Okay guys, Svomesto, if you're looking at this or any other KFUN fans or... Thank you, thank you, this is, this is amazing. It's really amazing. It's it's the easiest deck I have ever built on. Thank you, Svomesto. Thank you. I think I, I'm in love with you guys. Um, let's pick it up. I will use some Fiber Freaks. Uh, it has shown for me to, to be wicking perfectly in K-Funds. Um, so I will just continue with that. I will try some other wicking material too, maybe in some follow-up videos. But for now, let's just go with this. Um, like so, a little bit, a little piece of cotton, a little piece of cotton, okay. Um, get this through the coil, like so, okay. And then what I'm gonna do, I guess, can I do it like the other k fun? I think I will. So I will just approximately cut it uh, to the edge of this base down here. To here, wait, to this, to here. So, oops, so approximately the same width. Should be working good, like so. And like so, eyeball it. Nice and fluffy. Uh, let's get this inside. Like so. Same as on the k Mini. It's the exact same procedure. You just have a bigger build deck and I think you can push it into the side. I always like to keep my wicks dry when I tuck them inside because they tend to be more fluffy that way. So when I juice them up, um, they kind of stay fluffy. Because when you, juice the, the wi um, when you juice the wicks up before you tuck them in, then they get kind of all together. Uh, squash together and so I, I figured out this wicks much much better. Let's put a few drops of juice on here like so come on come on come on yes do we have vapor? Maybe I should um maybe I should uh, let's go and get a new reading Let's check it out. 0 0.37, looking good. I will lock the resistance. And let's check it out. Oh! Look at it. Ah. Nice. Nice. We will screw back the tank, like so. Okay. Um, the O-rings are pretty tight, you need to know that. Um, so what you can do maybe is put a little bit of e-juice on the side, like so. They're new, so I guess that's no only normal. First time you use it, it's going to be okay. Um, so now it should work much better. Yes. And screw it back in. The juice flow control functions the same as it did on the uh, K-Fan Mini. So you shouldn't have any problems with that. We will fill up the tank, like so. Oh, 
Oh, yes, baby. What's it holding, like three and a half mils? Enough for me. Screw back top cap. Nice. And now, um, what I really like in the improvement of their design is this top cap is kind of beveled out. So there's not gonna be much juice building up here. They, they really have thought everything through. Really, really, really awesome. I love it. I'm in love with the new k fun. Oh, look at it being all beautiful. Check the airflow. I, I guess this is perfect for me, two holes. Um, let's check if we can if we can work with the airflow like so. Or maybe we need to um, raise the deck. So I will open the juice flow control right now. I guess it's two, three turns, same as in the cave and mini. And we see a lot of bubbles happening. I think this is going to wick. Oh my god, look at it. Nice. Can I? Yes. Um, so when the juice flow control is closed, you cannot adjust the airflow, obviously. You need to raise it a little bit by opening up the juice flow control, and then you can basically play with it. So this is two holes, but you know what, let's go back to FaceTime and um, we'll talk about it a little bit later. So basically that's the K-Fun V5, this vape. I'm in heaven. Let's go back to face them and have a vape. Okay guys, and we are back with the k 5 all filled and wicked. I have to say, it's really beautiful. I love it. I love it. Vape porn. Let's try and close it off more. Oh, this is one hole. Mm. Yes. Dear K Fun 5, I'm in love with you. And the and the flavor is perfect. It's from the first bait. Let's try and open it up and see how it does with wide open airflow. Four holes. It's amazing. Guys, if, if you can get your hands on one of those it's amazing. It's amazing. Um, one thing I was worried about when I saw the, the, the pictures and the info about the k 5 coming out was uh, when they moved the airflow to the outside, uh, the airflow adjustment, I was praying to God it won't be loud and that it won't whistle or any of those kind of things. Because what k uh, what Svomesto did with the k 4 and the k v3 mini was they had a lot of um, they had holes on the outside and you could adjust the airflow from the inside so usually all those tanks that have the airflow adjustment ring on the outside tend to be pretty loud this is not at all the case with the kfun v5 the kfun v5 is one of the smoothest vapes i have ever experienced it I, if not the smoothest from, I'm talking about bigger tanks, 22 millimeter tanks. So, it's amazing, guys. I will try to get it closer to the mic so you can hear it. Just some hissing. Nice. This is perfect. So Mesto, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for this. It's amazing. This is obviously not going to be any kind of uh, 
objective review. Or maybe it is because I, I like to say if something is wrong with with a device or with a tank or with anything. And I know I just did the unboxing and I know I wicked it for the first time. But I'm just telling you guys this is working flawlessly from the f first vape I took. I don't have anything, any cons to say right now. I will try to do a follow-up video on this. Um, let some time pass and just do a follow-up video. But what we can do right now is just talk a little bit. So, it does have top fill. We have a drip tip uh, with a palm inlay so it doesn't get hot. Um, quartz, uh, stain, um, quartz tank, glass tank, and we do get an extra spare stainless steel tank. The capacity of the tank is 5 milliliters with the steel tank and 4 milliliters with the glass tank on. Should be more than enough. What else do we have? We have liquid flow control, same as on the k V3 Mini. Uh, we have adjustable airflow control. You have four different types of airflows. So all you do is basically pull this up and then turn it. Super easy, super convenient. Uh, I think it's even leak proof. Uh, what else? We have a 510, uh, 316L stainless steel. The whole thing is made up of 316 stainless steel. Let's unscrew this. And on the bottom, we should find a serial number, Solmesto logo, just to check for authenticity. It's all there, 22 millimeters. It's 60 millimeters in height, so 6 centimeters, um, without the drip tip. So this is removable, you can put in your own drip tip. You get a lot of extra goodies in the packaging. You have a warranty. Okay, good. So, let's talk about the cost on this. Let me just quickly go to the MTM store site. mtmstore.eu uh, uh, Svomesto Kfun 5 on the MTM store site uh, where I got it from, actually I got it in the store, but uh, if you want to get it online, it's 125.73 euros, which is, it, it's cheaper than the KFAN V4, I think that was 150, something like that. I think, I think for, for what you are getting, it's a steal, uh, 125 euros. I know it's not the cheapest atomizer, but this is something that you buy for life. One thing uh, I, I was talking about that before already is that Svomesto really uh, had to rush this thing out. So there is a limited number of K funds available. I wouldn't be surprised if by the end of the day all of those were gone. Um, because as far as I remember, I think they have maybe 20 something like that, 20, 20, 30 pieces. Uh, I think half of them are already gone. So um, if you are on the market for a new k -fun, you should really uh, act fast because this is, I think by tomorrow they will be gone. I, I, I can't really imagine, I can't really imagine staying them in store for any longer. If you have any questions, um, about the KFUN, please let me know down in the description box. Um, I really, really, um, sincerely wish for you to try this. This is an amazing tank. Um, from what I've experienced in the first one hour <laughs> of owning it, I would go and buy one again. Um, if you Even if you can't afford it, just go and try it, save up for it and then buy it because this is amazing. I love it. <clears throat> so guys, that's about it for today. I will keep you updated about all the latest news in the vaping world. Oh, by the way, I got this flyer uh, at MTM store. It's Vienna Vape Show, 11th to 12th of June, uh, 2016. So, if I make it, I guess I, I can make an appearance there. Um, Austria is at least my home country, so um, I, I kind of would 
If I if I make it, I will I will go and um, check it out. If nothing else, maybe you can make it there. Let me know how it goes. So Vape Expo, 11th to 12th of June 2016. Awesome. Um, and I will go and just enjoy my new Kfun V5 for some time. If you guys want an update video on the Kfun V5, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you did find some of those information useful. If you did, please like and subscribe to my channel. That would mean a lot to me. I'm wishing you all a wonderful rest of the day. Uh, let's keep on vaping and I'll see you again pretty soon.